This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds, NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com, Ag News, Market Prices, Ag Careers, and Farm Real Estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. Peter Alexander, often called the most respected farm business accountant in New Zealand, says this, the only difference between the top 10% of farmers and the next group down is their timing. Time management is one of the top features of farmers. Uh, that's, that's the factor we found in our best practice study. And time is one thing that is equal for everyone. Top farmers or top managers don't have more time than, than anyone else. And so um, time management is an important part of timing. So one of the things they're able to do is in planning their time more effectively is largely through, uh, through planning. Um, so it's, it's the, the old adage is um, um, uh, planning, planning uh, you plan your work and then you work the plan. And that allows them to identify a various number of scenarios ahead of time so that when production issues come up during the year, uh, they have already thought through some of these issues. And it really takes the pressure off of decision making uh, later in the production year. So a lot of them will plan, and, and specifically in the prairie region, uh, they all have a scenario for whether or not there's a drought or there's too much rain or there's a frost. And so they'll think these things through ahead of them. So um, timing is a big part, or time management is really the key to timing. I think profits and success of any kind tend to encourage procrastination. For one thing, if you're making money, you're not under as much pressure to change. It's also easy to get complacent when things are going well. The best managers I know are driven by the need to continuously improve. They recognize that if they slow down, one of their competitors may catch them, and they hate to lose even more than they like to win. Success tends to result not so much from big wins as it does from the cumulative effect of a lot of smaller wins, even though obviously it's the big payoffs that get all the press. The two main things to remember are first, that the best companies spend as much time analyzing what they need to stop doing as they do analyzing new opportunities. The second is that there is just as much money to be made by getting in at the right time as there is from getting out at the right time. Timing really, if we think about it, is really about plan execution. Uh, I'm not going to quote, uh, so we're going to quotes, but once we have our plan, it comes down to our process of executing our plan, which is really timing. Bearing in mind again the peculiarities of the, of the crop we're talking about, if it's corn or soybeans for instance, by the first week in July, as I said before, we would like to be done. But the business prerogative for farmers or GM remains the same. Revenue minus cost is equal to profit. Once we understand where we start making profit, if we have a plan, well, if we execute our plan, a plan that sells into profitable prices, we will build equity. Farming, like any other business at the end of the day, is about building equity over time. In years like this, where it looks as if it would have been better to wait till harvest time, we should view this as an opportunity to do well in future years, staying with our plan and process a plan and process that we recognize has done well over the vast majority of years. That's, that's, those are our thoughts on timing.